Right, ladies and gentlemen, we move on with K1 over five two-minute rounds of action as sponsored by Direct Electrics. Would you welcome first into the blue corner, representing OMA, Daniel Zach. Ladies and gentlemen, just to confirm that this one will actually be Muay Thai over five two-minute rounds, hence the five rounds. So this is Muay Thai over five twos. And would you welcome his opponent into the red corner, oh, representing the Red Dragons, Sevkek Sevkez! Now, George, just a little bit of controversy over this one. There's been a bit of a mix-up. Now, Oxford Martial Arts, the young lad, Daniel Zak, um, they only fight Muay Thai. They are a pure, traditional Muay Thai club. And somewhere along the line, the wires have been crossed because Sebket Serkes has trained purely for the K1 fight. Although we know the Dread Red Dragons are capable of Muay Thai fighting and Muay Thai fighters, he's trained purely for K1. So... Daniel saying, I only ever train Muay Thai, this is all we fight. So Red Dragon said, yes, we thought it was a K1 fight, but we will fight Muay Thai. But you've got both camps a bit upset. A bit, that's why we've had the delay. You've got one camp thinking it was a straight Muay Thai fight. You've got the other camp thinking it was a straight K1 fight. And one camp's gone, well, he's trained nothing but K1 for this. The other one's gone, we only ever fight Muay Thai, which is true. I know the Oxford camp, that is their only discipline. Yeah, you've got to take your hat off to the Red Dragons there for for respecting the Oxford camp in in in, in their way and, and their tradition. You know, they 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 could they could technically just walk away, couldn't they? You could. This fight, I thought, was very close to not happening. You know, and I think both camps, if they wanted to stick by the principles, you know, Oxford could have said, "Well, look, we thought it was Muay Thai. we that's all we do. We're going." Red Dragons could have said, well, all we've done is train K1 for this. We're not happy. We're going. But as it is, two great camps, two great fighters, and we've got the fight on, which is the important thing. And it is, under Muay Thai rules, over five two-minute rounds of action. Which, when I was talking to our referee, Mick Folds, we were both curious as to see K1 over five twos. And then we realised where, where the mix-up was. Yeah, k one so explosive. It, it would be interesting to... To see that go into the latter stages. So one thing's for certain, Daniel Zak, a big height advantage over Sevket Serkes. That, that won't be the only advantage, considering he, he's trained in Muay Thai. And the, the Red Dragons guy is coming into the fight as a K1 fight. You know, Maybe that'll be a disadvantage, who knows? Maybe he'll pull off the upset. Well, we'll certainly see when it comes to the clinch where obviously under these rules you'll be allowed to stay there while it happens but Serkes looking to rough Zach up early with those big hooking punches they came to nothing both exchanging leg kicks there fairly slow start compared to some of the starts we've seen tonight with become accustomed to expecting both guys to just come out and, and, and start going at it. Well, that's the, that's the thing, though. This is five rounds, and we said it is Muay Thai now. And as we said before, traditionally, Muay Thai fights do start slower. They work their way in. And that's certainly how Daniel Zak will approach these five rounds. Now, for me, if I was in the other corner knowing that that's what you're training for, I'd say to Serkes, get out the blocks fast, really work hard and fast, and see what happens, because... I do know as this fight goes on, Daniel Zak will go more and more and more into it. He'll grow into the rounds. He gets put on his back, but he just stands straight back up like nothing happened. Just... That's right, it's, it's a good tactic from Sirk. As I said, he's got to get in there early. 
because Zach will wind it up as the rounds go on. Nice straight right from Zach through the channel. Circus frustrating him in the clinch there. Zach not able to get off the knees, as I'm sure he would have wanted to. Considering he's supposed to be the guy who only trains K1, he, he's doing surprisingly well in the clinch. I thought, um, I thought, I thought Zach would do and, and take take control of the clinch. I thought he would do. That's right. Well, a good opening round. Yes, yeah, straight back into proceedings. Round two. It's going to be interesting to see what what Sergey does in this round because. He's taken the fight in a different rule set, a rule set in which he doesn't train, but he's taken round one, so that's a great start for him, you know. Coming into a Muay Thai bout, oh, I, I think you'd agree that he would be an underdog considering that, that he's, he's been training K1. But throwing haymakers like that is not going to do him any, any good, like. No, looking for a, a finish, but that was a big looping right hand, a lazy right hand in many ways. Yeah, he needs to keep it tight like he did in the first. What he did in the first was very, was very good. And he turns that nicely and gets the knee going. Very slick work there. It's amazing. Circus can go from a really awful right hand to a very slick turn around and knee. Very bizarre. Exactly that is. Just about keeping concentration throughout the whole fight. Five twos. It's a long time. Yeah, I, I always say it's, it's amazing how long two minutes is. That's right, when, when you're in when that When you're ring. in there, you know, we, we can sit and watch telly for 15 minutes and it will feel like nothing, but you, you get in there and have a go and two minutes will feel, will feel like eternity. Well, you feel now that Daniel Zach needs to start turning it up because Circes is busy busy if, if you if you notice now that the kicks ain't getting through from Sergey, he's throwing the kicks but Zach is is actually checking every single one of them that's right as he should be and this is where he'll need to score in the clinch here where he'll need to start turning ascendancy into points and again Circus doing a good job of trying to take Daniel Zak out of his stride here. And it's Serkes that looking to put the short little knee to the thighs. And yeah. these two minutes are flying by. So three or five, and you feel Zak will start to put up the pressure here. Serkes again with that lead leg kick. Not much snapping it this time though. As Zach turns his man, looks to get the knees going, but Zerkes turns again himself. And this is the thing, Zach is not having it all his own way in this clinch. Zerkes, the leg taken, couldn't take his man down though. Yeah, but again we see Zerkes is in the opposing position within the clinch. This is, is, it's actually boggling my mind in some ways the fact that he's come in as a K1 fighter who didn't want to fight Ty and now he's fighting Ty and he's he's, he's doing so well in the clinch he, he, he must have trained it in the past at least that's better from Zach looking for that support leg but Surkez's style is unorthodox but he gets through and he makes it difficult for Zach to get a rhythm going And he's making it awkward for his opponent. And that response from the Red Dragons is because he's getting his fair share of knees in in this clinch. Now the cleaner knee there was clearly from Daniel Zach. Beautiful knee to the midsection. But Serkes is making it difficult. Honestly, Serkes, Serkes is a bit, his clinching ability has is, is, is really surprised me. Uh, uh, at times he looks like a, a well-established Muay Thai fighter because the clinch positions he just he just got a moment ago, trapping the head of Zach. There was potential for a big knee there, but... Well, Zach's just beginning to close the gap and land with some sweet little combinations now. But there again, Serkes comes back. 
and Zach has got to match that. So this is very interesting with three rounds down. Well, as I said, I saw more from Daniel Zak in round three. Tight little combinations, nice chopping low kicks. But still not enough, in my opinion. But he really needs to step up these next two rounds. So, round four of five. And Serkez asking questions of Zak. We need to see something big from Zak in this round. Well, Serkez again, not afraid to get in that clinch, and a good knee to the midsection takes one back from Zach. Both Red men firing the knees now, George. Yeah, Red Dragon's making some noise because their guy, Sergei, is, is landing knees at will, you know. He uh, keeps coming forward. It's time for Zach to make a statement if he's going to do anything, you know. It's fourth round, arguably three rounds down. He needs to get this round in the bag if he's to stand a chance, but he's not. It's just not going the right way about it, you know. That's better, the, the left hand, the right leg, but he's got to be stronger with it. That right leg has really got to chop Serkez and take him off balance to really catch the judges' eyes. Because don't forget, a lot of Muay Thai scoring is the power of your kicks, the way you move your opponent. And that's what he's got to do with that left hand, right leg, really move Serkez to save the judges, look what I'm doing. Yeah, none of the techniques that um, Zach is, is using seem to be working. We, I think he may have been hoping that Sergey would fade as the, as the fight goes on, but it's just not the case. He, Zach has seemingly faded more than Sergey, even though that Sergey is is the one that is initiating all all of the, all of the attacks. Yes. Um Daniel Zach was good defence there in the clinch, but he needs more. He needs to really start moving his man with these kicks. Serkez staying mobile. He's worked really well and consistently. And again, catches the leg, takes his man to the canvas. Very high scoring in Muay Thai. Get your opponent to the canvas, and that's the end of the round. And it's another one. It's, a, it's another one that I would say Sergey has probably nipped. The crowd are behind these fighters as they enter the fifth and final round. What a fight it's been with Sergey making the upset so far. Zach looks like he's coming forward with intent. Good we shot. To see great, great right hand from him. Well, you'd expect the fifth to be strongest for a Muay Thai fighter. I'd be looking for Daniel Zach to be pouring it on now. And you can see a difference about him. Look at the stance, planting his feet. Yeah, he's really going for it this round. And showing his clinch there. Strong right hand from Daniel Zach. And for the first time, Serkez wobbles because Zach has really planted his feet, started to, to hit hard. Zach needs to do something special here to, to, to get this decision. I think I think we're looking at a very one-sided decision here unless Zach gets a knockout. The Red Dragons camp are very happy with the performance. Oxford Martial Arts Academy willing Zach on, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough. Well, Sir Kez has been consistent. He's been like a He's been like an angry wasp, hasn't he, around his opponent, always buzzing, and there that right hand, then the double knees, triple knees from Serkez. They, they're, they're punishing, they are. But he's not stopped buzzing in the ear of Daniel Zak, and that's been the shock. He's managed to sustain this for five rounds, and as you saw, three big shots from him there. Yeah, I, I, I think that Zak expected Sergey to, to fade fade part way through but, but it's just not happened he's been able to keep up the pace and he's still going he's still throwing head kicks in and an overarm right yes he's, knees he's to the solar it. plexus it's, it's all in this fight you know it's, it's, it's such a great fight a little bit one sided but it makes for such a spectacular viewing for the, for the fans here well 
not the fight I thought I'd see and I think there might be an upset here under Muay Thai rules I wouldn't be surprised if the red corner doesn't take this much to the light of his coach well, ladies and gentlemen, as always tonight, let's hear it for both our fighters in the ring here after five hard-fought rounds of action. But we do have a unanimous decision. Your judges in favour of the red corner, second. 